hello guys and welcome to our channel once more in our previous video we explained to you how you can generate a custom payload on hp injector and saving your work here what does it mean saving your work means that you'll be able to export your config file and be able to upload the next time when you want to connect your internet once more and indirectly it means we'll be showing you how to create your own config file on HP injector and so we'll be back after the short intro and so for the sake of this video we already we already generated a we already generated a we already generated a custom payload on HP injector and if you want to see how to generate yours you can just quickly go to the link to the description below you will see the link provided to our previous video where you can go and use it to set up your own your own custom your own custom payload on HP injector but if you want to see what we did what we did was that the first thing we did was we came here and this are the boxes that we take and after taking you save and after saving you you hit this this custom payload button to to edit your your custom your payload then once you, you finished you generate after generation you always make sure that you you also you also download a, a server or you generate the server there's a manual way that you can just come to the server then generate it manually but now in that video we, we did not show you the manual method we show you but the, the automatic method that was a little bit more a little bit faster and once you've done that you generate your your, your custom payload and once it's working all what you have to do is to just export your file you have to export your file and to export your file you have to come up here and you and you click on export config you can see they will ask you for a name you can put any name let's say We'll put a name, let's say ABCD. Then once you've once you've put a name, you have to choose which config file you uploaded. What we did, what we showed in this video was SSH. And what you saw for the SSH, you can set to lock or to leave it open. And if you're locking it, then they will ask you to put a password in it. You have to put a password and then you can you can try to save to your phone and you export it as you can see it shows that it has been exported or you can just decide to to save it to your cloud once you save it to your cloud and you click on export can set an expiry date but after config any of them is for you to to play with it as as you want and once it is done you will see something like this and you can copy and okay and just make sure you save all of this information for for later on and so this is how you can you can export your own config file and have your own config sp injector of a HTTP injector file and if you that you exported your file to your phone later on when you want to when you want to use it your your your, your device to browse again you just have to come back to the same place and you click on import you click on import you have to take it to your, to your internet storage you can go down to your internet storage where you saved your file and and then you upload and you can 
continue using okay that's the end of this video and if you saw that this video was helpful for you you can just give us thumbs up below and and don't forget to subscribe and to show and share it to others so that they can also learn how to how to generate their own config files on this projector.